Hey love folks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended family, just thank you for being you. Thank you for living, giving me the support as well as I'm giving it to you. You're, you're healing and you're excelling in so many beautiful ways. And you know you're coming back and letting me know all the things that you're doing in life. And they're so promising. So with that being said, thank you for letting me know. <laughs> Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And, oh, excuse me. If you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload the next video. If you're comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading towards a positive direction. And if you feel like the video has been very informative to you and you feel like the the video you want to share go ahead and give me good vibes you would like to share please go ahead and do so and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites as well and once again thank you so much for the love and support and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video today and um today my video is about twin flame 101 oh my eyes are itching twin flame 101 hey opens express yourself don't repress yourself. Y'all was listening to that song Human Nature by Madonna or uh what was the day before yesterday? And it was like that part really stuck to me that you know that we repress a lot of stuff. It's just like, you know, there's times where like I can be doing the tarot cards like on one of my daughters and they'll be asking me certain things and it will get so uncomfortable because especially when spirit comes through and it brings up something that, you know, I know it might mess them up or, you know, something that is, it, it gets sensitive to talk about. So I will repress that. And it's like, anytime I do that and I start, you know, fearing off the things that, you know, expose themselves to me, you know, like the gifts expose themselves to me a certain way, I will repress it because it, it scares the mess out of me because there's a lot of things that I wouldn't want to know that um that people are experiencing at the time or whatever it's just like you know when i do tarot cards it's like something i do for fun it is it's just something i practice with or whatever so exploring all these new different things about myself that i'm able to do is you do the same for yourself with you knowing your gift you know it can be hard you know it's just like you know i, I tell y'all don't fear it you know i fear certain things too but i'm letting y'all know i'm going through the same route y'all going through so when i'm telling y'all not to fear it i'm telling myself that as well so it's just like going through these things and you know dealing with them it's good that you can have somebody relate to it is such a blessing i have y'all to relate to and it's just like you know when you learn your gift you know, it's just like, sometimes it can be so surreal. Like, I'm like, am I really this, 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 and that? You know, because it's like, when I look at, back at my life and things, how I was gravitated towards certain things in my life, especially, you know, when it comes to horror movies. I gra gra uh, gravitated towards, you know, movies that, like, that had witches in it, like Hocus Pocus, uh, Matilda, um, what is it, Charmed um craft the covenant um what other movies uh witches of eastwick the show that they had on oh god what was it i forgot what was it uh cb1 i guess this here um which is the east end with um i forgot what her name is but that's channing Tatum's wife she's real pretty well they used to be together i hate that they got a divorce or whatever but you know i used to gravitate towards things like that and then i find out that you know i'm a witch or we have lineages of witches in our family. So it's just like, I'm like, wow, you know, I'm learning all these things. But I'm like, it's not really surprising. It's surprising, but it's not really surprising. Because just because of the fact is, towards things that I was exposed to, the things that I opened myself up to, just the things how I went about it is being a child. You know, there were certain things my mom was just like, you know, there's no possible way of her knowing this. <laughs> you know, my mom was like, she is very special. So it's just like, when you have your gift, embrace it. Don't hide it. Don't cover it up. I mean, certain times, you know, it, it, it becomes unbearable, you know, especially if it's like people that don't understand you, you're know, trying to figure out why you freak out around a lot of people, like a large group of people. Why do you become uncomfortable? You know, I'm just like, there are certain times I don't like touching people's hands. 
And it was crazy because I was watching a show that they just came new on Netflix. Um, it's called The Haunting of Hill House where one of the sisters, she was empathic, too. It's like all the brothers and sisters were empathic. And they all had their certain gifts on gifts on the way they were able to perceive things, especially when it had something to do with the unknown or the spirit world. But they had one sister who was a psychiatrist, and she had these gloves on to where, you know, if she touched anything, she would know everything that they went through. And I understand where that comes from. It's like, she's like, I'm a severe germaphobe. <laughs> and it ain't the fact that she's a severe germaphobe, but it's just the fact that she knows if she touched somebody, she gonna know everything they've been through. She gonna know the pain they went through, things that happened to them, or just, just objects they, that they tend to deal with a lot. So it's just like, when you go through this, embrace your gift learn more about yourself educate yourself educate your you know if you see somebody who's going through the same thing as you you know they might not be so open to talk about it lead them towards that path just like you know i've met so many people through so many different groups that they're going through things they you know they're loners they get really agitated when they're around a large group of people you know they, they like they, they're loners or whatever you know and they're trying to figure out why they were like that. And I was like, have you ever, you know, knew if you were empath or not? You know, and they're like, huh? You know, and I was just like telling them all the things. I said, you have so many characteristics of a person who's an empath where you get affected because of others, you know, um, uh, energy. You know, you can't be around a large group of people. You know, you're more... You know, you know, you're more connected towards nature and animals and stuff like that. And they're like, "Wow, wait a minute, Rosalind, you guys, you, you're on something here." But there are so many people that I was able to educate like that just by, you know, just coming in towards their past. So it's just like if you're able to help somebody, go ahead and help them do that because it's just, it's a blessing to be able to do that because I knew what it felt like of going through this and not understanding what was going on. People knew about certain stuff, but they just wouldn't tell me. So it was good when I was able to do the research and do the videos and stuff like that, knowing that other people are like-minded like me too, and others are like you as well. So like I said, I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are blessed, truly favored, highly loved, and knowing there is somebody out there praying for your better days. And my post notification shot at goes to, let me see, who am I going to go through today? Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. Jabriant Mitchell, what's up, fam? I hope you're having a good week and you are blessed and loved. And I hope everything is going for you, you know, in the utmost possible, positive possible way. And while you're at it, you guys, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites as well. Give me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Give me a thumbs up and like, and even share on your social media favorites. And I will see you on my next video. Peace. And be wild.